guys, it's Melissa. Happy Friday. Um, I am here today to show you, I'm going to give you a couple tricks on getting more out of your script fonts. Okay, so we have a fabulous script font bundle right now on SoFonsi, which is expiring Monday. Hey, Tara. Um, so I want you to grab it before you can, before you can't. Uh, but I want to show you that you're getting um, more than what you see, okay? So, here's the font, here's the bundle. Oh, by the way, have you seen our fabulous new old school bundle? Oh my gosh, that was just released today, and it's, if you're an 80s girl, oh my god, it is the best. Okay, but, script font bundle um, comes with a whole bunch of, when I say a whole bunch, I mean 21, um, fonts, okay? Obviously, they all are script fonts. They all come with a commercial use license. Um, they're all easy to download and install. So once you purchase this and then download um, the zip files on your computer, then you just install them onto your computer. And what I'm gonna do is show you in Silhouette Studio, because I know a lot of you use Studio, how to get more out of them. So we're gonna focus specifically on Dreamland Swirl. This is a $20 font. The whole bundle itself is $25.99, so definitely a good deal. So, okay, so what I wanna show you is, when you bring this font into Silhouette Studio, don't mind all this nonsense back here, okay. Um, you can actually get more than just the standard um, characters, okay, which the standard characters themselves are very pretty, but you can, there's more to it. <clears throat> All right, so what you want to do first is type out a word. We're, I'm using letters because this one has these fabulous, I mean, I'm using names because Dreamland has these cute little hearts that you can use to connect, so it's really fun for like um, a wedding or an engagement or, I don't know, housewarming or whatever, so... Let's just do home, actually I'm gonna do, um, I'll just pick a name, Tim, and uh, Tim, and then we'll do Susie. I have no idea who Tim and Susie are, but okay. So you wanna type them all together like this. I'm gonna fill them in so you can see. And I'm gonna fill it in black, and I like to change the line color to black as well. Okay, so you can see I have Tim right next to Susie up here, okay? So then, what you want to do to get this little heart and all these other little swirly magigs, that's the technical name, um, you want in Silhouette Studio to, in the text style panel, to go to the Glyphs um, tab, okay? So you need Designer Edition for this, but it's totally worth it. It's a one-time thing. I'll recommend that you get it from Swing, but, um, and I'll throw the link up, but you can get it other places as well. Um, fastest, cheapest is definitely Swing. Okay, so once you do that, you'll get this panel that has, you'll see all the extra characters. Now below are the standard characters, okay? But you've got these other characters as well. So what you wanna do is click into your text so that you get the green box around and then just place your cursor exactly where you want the special character to go. So I want a heart to go in there. So I just put my cursor, you can see it clicking, uh, blinking there, and then click the character, special character that I want, which in this case is the heart, okay? So now I have my font, my text that has Tim, little heart, Susie. Okay, now let's say I want Tim to have a swirly McGig. Um, I can go down here and I can find whichever one I want. So my cursor is now flashing over here. All right, I decide I want this one. Okay, that's good. Now I want to go to this side and add one to the end of Susie. I can pick one. Eh, that I don't really like the one I picked because the E is going up but the swirl starts from coming down. So just delete it um, and then find another one, okay? And then you can easily, um, you know, use this to cut on vinyl. You can cut stencils with it. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. Let me get rid of some of these things here. Uh, let's get rid of page setup. Okay, so you can easily use these to make stencils or whatever you want. If you didn't want this heart, if you wanted this heart to be filled in solid, okay, you can, I would recommend that you weld it all together because right now it's not welded, which means if you cut this, you are going to have overlapping areas. So let me show you. So if you don't weld, see how I have this little, you probably can't see. It overlaps. It's going to cut out there. So you want to weld that together in studio. And then what you want to do is release the compound path, okay? What we are doing is getting rid of this middle heart, okay? Now I can remove it, and if I go back and select everything, right click and make a compound path, now watch what happens when I fill 
my text back in, okay? You can see that now my heart is solid, okay? As opposed to Joe and Susie who have um, a, an um, empty heart, or a hollow heart. This is solid filled, okay? But it is the same exact glyph that was used. I just removed this inner heart by uh, releasing the compound path, okay? All right, of course, this is Dreamland. You can do a lot of the fonts um, in the script font bundle come with extra characters and you'll see um it'll say that and as you can see it says bonus caps the, you know all these different ones um this velvet heart has been really popular it's sort of like one of those baseball ish type fonts uh, but a lot of the fonts here's mermaid tail you want to see mermaid tail real quick i will change this to mermaid tail and show you how to get the mermaid tails it's the exact same um thing Okay, here we go. Um, wait a minute. I gotta. Sometimes also, if the designer does not, um, if you can't find the design, the font in your font list, it's because the designer has put their initials in front of it, and then you have to remember who the designer is. So I think this one is KL, but I just need to double check. Um, yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do? It's gonna be KL. Um, let's see. Mermaid tails. Okay, so here she is. All right. Now I had extra characters from the other font. I'm gonna delete them. Get out of here. All right. So you can see now that if I want to add a mermaid tail to Sue, let's just delete that whole thing. If I want to add a mermaid tail to Sue, I'm gonna go into my text box over here and find the E that has a mermaid tail on the end, all right? Where is it, here. And then I can delete the original E, okay? So that's how you make that. And then this one actually is really cute because it has um, even more glyphs. So if you want, let's say you just want a, um, a shell or you just want a starfish, or these are all little dingbats that you can use, okay? And add them around your design, okay? All right, let's fill those in. You can obviously put one in a, one in a works one in a text box or multiple however you wanted to do it okay all right so that is how you're going to get more out of your fonts um the script font bundle is like i said on sale until monday so go grab it 25.99 only till monday otherwise it's going back to its regular price which um it's worth over two hundred dollars so i want you to grab it it's 90 percent off right now and check out that um the really super fun 80s bundle that we have right now we're calling it the old school bundle. It's super cute. Um, lots of cool retro type stuff in there. All right. All right, guys. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. See you soon.